What's going on, everyone? Christian Pickdogs.com here with your free pick. Indy Baylor versus Kansas City. College basketball matchup going down Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to Pickdogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between Baylor and Kansas City and, uh, you know, Baylor coming into this one, 2-0 and on the year, taking care of business against Gardner-Webb, excuse me, 3-0 and on the year, uh, after taking care of business against Gardner-Webb, 2-0 and against Division One opposition, beating up on the Bulldogs, 77-62 there, didn't get the cover as 21.5 point favorites, but still a solid performance nonetheless, meanwhile, um, Kansas City coming in off a pair of wins over subdivision opponents, beating Avila 79-48 to open the year, and then St. Mary's of Kansas City, uh, 95-42, so... Cool. Help me find them on a map. That's all I'm asking. Um, anyways, now you go to, if you're Kansas City, you got to go to Waco to take on Baylor. And this is a Baylor team that I've, like I said, I've been very high on. And, uh, you know, I think that they have a ton of talent and it's going to be tough for UMKC to really battle here. You know, considering that KC, you know, Kansas City was a team last year that battled a lot of teams tough. They had a few covers as double digit dogs. You know, they covered as 23 point dogs at LSU, only lost by 11, lost by 16 at Kansas State, getting 19 and a half. You know, they got covers and, and outright wins as double digit dogs against Toledo and Indiana State, but also failed to cover against Oklahoma. So we've seen the good and the bad with, um, with Kansas City last year, but that was a Kansas City team last year that had three players scoring in double digits, and their top two scorers from last year from that team are gone in Raekwondis Mitchell and Shamari Allen, both averaged above 17 points per game. So you can beat up on teams like Avila and St. Mary's of Kansas City all you want, but end of the day, Marvin Menzies' club, I think, is going to be in some trouble here. You know, Gardner-Webb against Baylor. Gardner-Webb, I, I got that game wrong because I was thought, I thought Baylor was just going to blow him out of the water. But maybe Gardner-Webb's that new team that kind of just keeps things close against some of the better teams that they're up against. But I just don't like, I don't like Kansas City's chances here. This Baylor team, I stand by the sentiment that this team is loaded. And, um, you know, Jacoby Walter is going to be the next stud, I think, for the uh you know the next one of the next stud players in college hoops and going into the NBA I think he's got a bright future ahead of him um Ray J Dennis is a solid transfer they still got a ton of talent within this Baylor roster and they've looked good against better than what they're up against here I'm going to go with Baylor laying the big number in this one and that's going to be my free pick but just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.